Is wildlife a favorite topic of yours? Just curious. Well, let's begin. The Lar Gibbon, also known as the White-Handed Gibbon, is an endangered primate in the Gibbon family, Hylobatidae. It is one of the better-known gibbons and is often kept in captivity. The fur coloring varies from black and dark brown to light brown, sandy colors. The hands and feet are white-colored, likewise a ring of white hair surrounds the black face. Both males and females can be all-color variants, and the sexes also hardly differ in size. Gibbons are true brachiators, propelling themselves through the forest by swinging under the branches using their arms. Reflecting this mode of locomotion, the white-handed gibbon has curved fingers, elongated hands, extremely long arms and relatively short legs, giving it an intermembral index of 129.7, one of the highest of the primates. As with all apes, the number of caudal vertebrae has been reduced drastically, resulting in the loss of a functional tail. Gibbons have tough, bony padding on their buttocks, known as the ischial callosities, or sitting pads. The lar gibbon is considered frugivorous with fruit constituting 50% of its diet, but leaves are a substantial part, with insects and flowers forming the remainder. In the wild, lar gibbons will eat a large variety of foods, including figs and other small, sweet fruits, liana fruit, tree fruit and berries, as well as young leaves, buds and flowers, new shoots, vines, vine shoots, and insects, including mantids and wasps, and even birds' eggs. During the summer months, when figs and leaves are less available, insect consumption increases 20-fold relative to the winter. They are diurnal and arboreal, inhabiting rainforests. Lar gibbons are usually active for an average of 9 hours per day, leaving their sleeping sites right around sunrise and entering sleeping trees an average of 4 hours before sunset. They rarely come to the ground, instead using their long arms to brachiate through the trees. With their hooked hands, they can move swiftly with great momentum, swinging from the branches. Although they rarely come to the ground naturally, while there, they walk bipedally with arms raised above their heads for balance. Their social organization is dominated by monogamous family pairs, with one breeding male and one female along with their offspring. When a juvenile reaches sexual maturity, it is expelled from the family unit. As range size increases, males are more successful in defending it in a pair or group. Additionally, these extra pair copulations may increase the chance of reproduction with a mate of superior genetic quality and decrease the chance of infanticide. Family groups inhabit a firm territory, which they protect by warding off other gibbons with their calls. Now, let's listen to them. Beautiful, isn't it? Sexually, they are similar to other gibbons. Mating occurs in every month of the year, but most conceptions occur during the dry season in March, with a peak in births during the late rainy season in October. On average, females reproduce for the first time at about 11 years of age in the wild, much later than in captivity. Gestation is six months long on average, and pregnancies are usually of a single young. Young are nursed for approximately two years, and full maturity comes at about eight years. The life expectancy of the lar gibbons in the wild is about 25 years. I am glad that you could spend some time for these wonderful animals. Take care, God bless.